Might as well go live. Here we go. Okay, no worries. Just going live. Oh, we're live. Uh, good morning, um, folks. Um, welcome to a Sunday car boot haul stream. Um, hey, Shazad, how are you? Thanks for popping in. Um, haven't done one of these for quite a while. Um, decided to go to the car boot. I've actually really hurt my heel, so I was very slow walking around. I don't know what I've done. It's in a lot of pain, so I'm literally limping around. So I wasn't going to go, uh, but I've not been to the car boot, and the weather was nice, so I wanted to make a, a trip out of it. I didn't end up spending a lot of money, um, but still found some good little items which should sell quickly and for some good profit so I thought I'd pop on here and just share with you guys what I picked up um, so we've got Shazad in the chat thanks for popping in Shazad I appreciate it uh, we've got Daryl Hibbert Peter Ray RJ John reselling Polly uh, Deal City uh, Vintage Vandal Peter Ray uh, South London reseller says hi fam uh, Tom's in the chat as well hi Tom the English picker Tom thanks for popping in uh, so tea cakes uh, welcome guys thank you for popping in so I'll just share with you guys, Steve's popped in as well, <clears throat> hi Steve, um, so I'll just share with you some of the items, um, Carbu was rained off, or was rained when I was there, so, um, for over an hour I only got two items, wow that's really um, weird that the down south has has actually gotten the rain oh johnny mango is watching the england cricket world cup final against new zealand come on england yeah i hope england win it it will be amazing to win the world cup i remember how amazing it was when pakistan won in 1992 i still remember that um very that was actually against england in australia uh, i remember staying up with the family watching that and we were very um very excited uh, and it would be great for england to beat new zealand as well i'd definitely be supporting england over new zealand um hair's looking good says pommy pickers thank you for popping in um right sam fizzy as well all right guys i'm going to carry on i'm, I'm not going to get too um sidetracked so i do want to like share it's just weird that it's raining down south and it's dry up north it's just funny so yeah it was dry up north so i went out and we bought some stuff first thing i bought um this is not something i would suggest you buy if you want to make profit but i had to buy it um i paid a pound for this cap um some of you will know um what this cap is about some of you may not, but this is a YMCMB cap. <laughs> um, and if you like, if you like Lil Wayne, um, if you like, if you like the record label that he's on, um, Birdman, and <laughs> even though obviously that's been very rocky, it's just, it made me laugh when I saw it. So I had to buy it. It was only a pound. You could resell it for some money, but not a great deal. So this is a YMCMB cap. So I'm just going to wear this now for the rest of the stream. Um, anyway, let's get on with the actual pickups. I mean, I'm going to show you guys the actual pickups. Um, and um, Jay Dennis, uh, oh yeah, Shazad says, I was in Pakistan in 92 when they won. It was insane. Oh wow, that's crazy. I mean, I remember watching it with the family, Shazad. That was crazy. Uh, it, it was an amazing final um in the mom huck and i was just incredible imi khan though best captain um hi Izzy, how did you get on with that teddy bear phone did you find the elton john interview um i did find the elton john interview but i have not actually listed that yet um so that's going to be going up i need to get um give it a proper testing so that needs to be done um Hi Kez, and TK says, I went through all the emotions yesterday, bought a Mewtwo for £2, got it home, doesn't work, listed it as spares, had an offer so far, £25 um, at Zaheer, thanks for the tip. Um, oh, that's a shame that it doesn't work, um, oh, that's so gutted, but y you'll still make some money on it, um, how could you see only S Club 7? No, I, I don't, you can stop spreading the rumours of S Club, um, Jay Denny says, if dead, clean the contacts by scraping them on the Mewtwo. They suffer from a buildup of film on the contacts, if not used for a while. Um, and Cutty Sark says, I'm missing the chin wags. They will be back. We've just, it, you've got to be in the right mood to do them, uh, Cutty Sark. At the moment, we've got a lot of changes with Rebecca's work hours and things. We are, look, we, we haven't stopped doing them. 
uh, just a little temporary break. So they will be back, Cutty Suck. Thank you for that comment, though. Do appreciate it. Um, we're just sorting ourselves out. All right, let's get on to some pickups. That's the whole point of this video, guys. I don't want to um, keep you for longer than needed. Um, first item I want to share with you guys um, is, is something that's worth looking out for. Um, it's actually a bit of a bolo type thing because it, it's not not everyone will be aware of this um, But they're quite rare. So that's why they're bolos. You're not going to see these everywhere um, This is a horrid Henry figure um, I only paid 50 pence for him now these figures believe it or not have a little bit of value So you can see horrid Henry 50 pence. He's actually a really good quality action figure. Um, the, the plastics used are brilliant. You can see that the likeness to the TV character is actually excellent. Um, his hair, um, he's, he's very articulated, his elbows, arms, everything, feet. Now, it, he's only a five inch tall figure. Um, so you wouldn't expect it to carry an immense amount of value. Um, but if you um, if if you're you know if you if you keep an eye out, you can actually see that the that Horrid Henry has got a little bit of demand about him. Um, so it's definitely worth um, keeping your eyes open for for these figures. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just transition over to the other screen, um, and you can see here that someone sold a Hon Horrid Henry and Ralph figure for twenty pounds. Uh, someone got a tenner for this figure here, um, but if you're, you know, you can hold out and get more. That guy on bids only got two pound fifty. Well, that's for, for a seventeen-inch one. Um, okay, let me sh show you. Someone got eight pounds for a Ralph. Th there you go. Someone got twenty quid for the same figure. So it is about pricing it and waiting. And some of these fetch really good money. You, you just have to be willing to hold out. Here's someone else who got a tenner plus shipping. Tenner plus shipping will be no problem. But I reckon if you hold out, you should be able to get fifteen to twenty pounds for this figure because they're they're not becoming more prevalent. Um, and and they are collectible. Some people do like horrid henry so i'm very pleased with this and as you can see this guy actually got 20 quid for his one plus four pounds shipping um so yeah pretty good so only a five inch tall figure but worth keeping your eyes peeled uh for him because it is profitable to pick up um self-employed dreamer says morning as well hi there um that's weird. Sold two lots of books yesterday. Didn't think they were so popular. Kirsten says hi as well. Hi there. And NASCAR man. Hi to everyone that's joining. Do appreciate it. So so that's the first item. So 50 pence should get at least a tenner, but I will be aiming for 15 to 20. It's only a small item. It's not going to take a lot of space. So really pleased with that one then. Next item is very bread and butter. Always worth looking out for dictation machines. Um, Olympus is a very good brand to look out for. Um, so, you know, this one has its box. Um, it's in good condition. Luckily, it actually had batteries um, and, it, you know, it has got um, a recording on there. I, I don't want to actually um, play it because in case it's got anything else, but I, I, I used the functions. Um, the batteries were in it and, and it, they work. So rewind forward works just fine. The counter works. So this is an Olympus Pearl called a J300 micro cassette dictation machine. Uh, paid three pounds, so probably a pound more than you would normally expect to pay. Normally, you'll find these for two pounds at the car boots, uh, depending on condition. Some people will ask five, some people will ask ten. You know how it is. Um, but this was um, three pounds, and I'm I'm always going to pick it up because if again, if I show you the completed listings, uh, one sold here for twenty, one at auction got eighteen plus shipping. Um, someone took an offer on twenty five. Uh, 19 pounds, 18 pounds, so 20 pounds should be achievable. Someone here got 45 with some tapes. Um, so again, you know, 20 should be achievable though. And, and I believe that in the box, I did spot there were the user manual, um, but the tapes are used. So that's not gonna be great, but the user manual is there with the box. So I'll be mentioning that and trying to get uh, 20 pounds for it. So again, not massive profit because you got to bear in mind you got to pay your eBay fees, PayPal fees um, out of it. Obviously, you'll charge your shipping if you want. Um, and but but it's a quick sale. Something like this could, however, fetch a fair bit more money 
on Amazon. So if you're willing to send items to Amazon FBA, um, you might find that you'll actually get more money. But with Amazon, um, you have to bear in mind that the customers you get are um, more demanding, um, not just necessarily more demanding, but some of them are a bit thick. So the problem with that is they'll buy things that they shouldn't be buying um, and then they will refund them. Um, I've sold a, quite a few dictation machines for significantly more money than I would achieve on eBay, but along that has come significantly more returns on dictation machines than I've ever gotten on eBay. So yes, you get you can get double, triple the money sometimes that you can get um, on eBay, on Amazon FBA for certain items. But when you start getting into things like dictation machines, sometimes you'll get people buying things that they don't necessarily understand um, why they're buying them, etc. So, uh, you know, that's just something to, to bear in mind. Um, TKX has still got crossbows and catapults ending tonight. Bought for two, it's on 160 pounds at the moment with seven watches. TKX, that sounds very exciting. I've not actually had, um, I've not actually had a, a, an auction like that myself that I know of. Something I've bought very cheap and has gone for big money at the car boot. Um, and Andrew Green says, hey, is it, hi, hi, how are you? Um, Pommy Picker says, how do you use a dictaphone? <laughs> uh, very funny, Rod. Um, very slim pickings today at the car boot, says Kirsten. Tempted to go out um, this afternoon to one, but got a pile of ironing to do. Um, yeah, it's one of those situations, uh, car boots Car boots are very hit and miss, and I think it's been what's been it's what's been putting me off going. Um, that's what's been putting me off going to them um, is, is how hit and miss they are. Um, but you know, if you don't go, then you're one hundred percent not going to get anything. Um, if you do go, there's a chance you might get something. I mean, considering how little little I've spent, I mean. The items I've shared with you so far, what, what have I shared? I've shared with you the dictation machine and the Horrid Henry figure, right? So I've shared two items with you. So to, so far I've spent £3.50 and out of that £3.50 I'm expecting to get about £40 of, of turnover. Even after your fees and everything, you're still going to be making 10 times your money you're not going to get that kind of margin anywhere else. Um, so it's it's risky, yes, and it can be off-putting because of the risk. And I'll, I'll be honest, it's been, it's been a, I've, I've been in the wrong attitude for it recently. But you know, I'm, I'm definitely trying to motivate myself to get out there and find the stuff because it is out there. Um, so yeah, three pounds fifty so far. I've, I've spent on this, of this stuff that I've shared with you. So we'll move on, and I'm going to get onto the next item. Claire Riley has joined us as well. Hi, Claire. Thank you for popping in. Appreciate it. Um, what's the next item I'm going to share with you guys? Let me just make sure I'm getting rid of bits that I've already shown you. Um, okay, the next item um, is again more action figures. Um, there was a guy that had action figures up for sale at five pounds each. Um, so he was asking, oh, something has just fallen. I think that was the lanyard for the dictation machine. Okay, um, I bought one, two, three, four. Actually, this he was asking five pounds each for these, um, but I got I oh Karen has popped in at a kids party. We'll watch later. No worries, Karen. Um, Cutty Sarkas, do you look for antiques or just more modern items? More modern items, Cutty Sark. I don't have any knowledge or really interest in antiques, so I kind of st steer clear of that. Um, but there's, if I did have knowledge um, or if I was interested in it, there's that would be amazing because there's obviously a big market there. Um, but yeah, this guy was selling action figures at five pounds each. I just asked him if I were to buy the all four, how much would you do? Um, that's all I asked him, and he he said, in, uh, "Well, there would be twenty. I'll do them for fifteen. So he knocked off five pounds for me, which I thought was pretty good. So I paid him fifteen pounds for these four action figures, which means I'm in them for three pounds seventy five each. Um, I'll go through them with you guys um, as to what you can expect to get. <laughs> Lucky that didn't go wrong. Um, I'll, I'll go with you through with you guys what I expect to get for these action figures. Um, so like I said, I paid £3.75 it works out at, at for them. Um, and um, I'll, I'll just start sharing with you 
what they are and what I'd expect to get for them. Um, the first action figure is this, or actually I should transition back, it's this Lord of the Rings um, Balrog Battle Gandalf. It has a talking base in which the battery has died, so the battery may have leaked, so that's something I'm going to need to point out. Um, boxed, they don't sell for a lot of money. £10 is what the last two have sold for. And if I look at Terra Peak, um, let me just find Terra Peak. Um, okay, no, that's a different one. That's, uh, okay, they go for £10 each. That's pretty much it. So three pounds seventy-five, ten pound plus shipping. So, not the best buy there. I don't think I've gotten a Terra Peak for these. I I do. No, I don't. Um, um, um. um I think that's the only one I didn't bother because it had sales on it. So, so not amazing that one. Um, but it's still a cool figure. Paid three seventy-five, ten plus shipping. So not the best. However, the other figures as we go on will get better. Um, the next figure I want to share with you guys is Aragon of Council of Elrond. To be honest with you, Lord of the Rings is is um, is very hit and miss. Um, Lord of the Rings is is a brand that's been I don't know, it just doesn't seem to have much value when I look at the figures overall. But again, pay three pound seventy five for this one. No recent sales for this particular figure, um, which is annoying. Uh, there's no particular sales for this one. However, on Terra Peak, I can see that they've sold um, for 13, 20, 18. So an average selling price of 17 pounds. Um, and th that's so those are all sold this year. One sold in November last year, and then one in January 19, 2019, one in April 2019. So I can expect to get between, you know, the 13 to 20 pound range so from three pounds 75 not atrocious um not amazing um by any means but you know it was, it was worth it when i did the bundle deal um now the next um figure that i want to share with you guys um okay let's go back into the chat um kirsten says i picked up a pack of cards for one pound today in on initial research seen some sell for over 250. wow kirsten that is insane. Um, that would be a great flip. Um, how's that slim pickings? You must do really well. Um, and TKX has picked up a 50 litre tub of HP inks. Um, about 30 cartridges for £15. All past date, but looks like should do well. Definitely inks are worth picking up. And NASCAR man says, I look for Action Force figures. If you do, let me know. I can't find the mistakes. Yes, Action Force figures. I've had those. Those are like the very detailed kind of ones, aren't they? Um, and um, I picked up a vintage Luxman cassette player, the old separate setup, $15. Do you still go on the hunt for vintage electronics here? Asked Rod. Um, if I find them, I will pick them up. I didn't find any today. And Pork Chop Express has super chatted $8, which is very, very generous and kind. Says, hi Z, could you give a shout out to my daughter Ava Lou? Um, she loves looking through trash and finding gold. Well, a massive shout out to Ava Lou. I do appreciate it. That's very kind of you, Pork Chop Express. And shout out to Ava Lou as there is little more out there that's as enjoyable as finding a real bargain. I mean, as... as um. As Kirsten probably knows with her one pound pack of cards, which could sell for over 250. Um, this is why I kind of was interested in the figures. Now, the first two figures I showed you were not particularly, they're not great. Like if there had been four Lord of the Rings figures and he wanted 15 pounds, I wouldn't have bought them. Um, if I'm honest, because I kind of knew that Lord of the Rings action figures, I don't know, they just don't seem to have the best market. What piqued my interest were these figures. These are Beowulf figures, but not because they're Beowulf, um, but because they're McFarlane Toys. McFarlane Toys is a brand worth keeping an eye out for. There's a couple of companies out there when it comes to action figures. McFarlane Toys, NECA, SOTA are very good as well. Those brands will do you well. Um, McFarlane Toys is decent. Beowulf, for those of you that don't know, is like an animated, uh, like a CGI movie that came out. Um, it had like, um, I think it was... Um, Ray Winston in it, I think, and it had Angelina Jolie, and uh, it was very, very well animated uh, movie. And this is Young Beowulf, 
Um, so again, paid £3.75 for him. Young Beowulf, again, there were no recent solds. Someone sold a used one and took an offer at £12 with free shipping, which doesn't inspire me with massive confidence, as you can see here. So this is the figure. You can see the recent um, eBay is, uh, you know, someone took an offer on £12. So from £3.75, that's not a good buy. However, again, going to Terrapeak, and I'm very grateful for eBay to supply us with Terrapeak now, uh, allows you to look back over the past year and you can see a more accurate idea of what you should be able to get for your figure. Now you can see here that someone got 15 pounds, someone managed to get 31 pounds and that it was in March of this year. Um, I believe that was on ebay.com though, but still 31 pounds. If I actually click on it, it should load up. Okay, the, the, the listing has vanished, which is a shame. This guy got 13 pounds, that guy got 15 pounds. So, um, and yeah, it's $25, there you go. So someone in the US uh, sold it for $25. So I'm pretty... I would be pretty happy to hold out around 20, 25 pounds for something like this for a bit um, and see how it goes. Um, it is a nice boxed McFarlane Toys figure, three pounds 75 to, if, even if I can reach the average price of 20 pounds, that's better, that's not too bad. So that was pretty cool. Um, moving on to the final figure from this lot, so, um, this one was really substantial. So again, it's a Beowulf figure, and this is a, the dragon. Um, as you can see, it's very, very cool, very mean looking guy. It's actually a really nice action figure. Absolutely stunning. The, 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 the detailing, the texture, very good quality figure. Um, now, if I take you to the listings for this guy, um, Again, there's not a great deal. If I, again, if I look on eBay, I'd be quite disappointed because all I would find is a used one, which at auction went for twelve pound, well, eleven pound fifty plus five pound shipping, so about sixteen, seventeen quid. Um, international, someone has sold two for forty dollars plus shipping, but then that's it, and then it just goes into these World War Two German figures. So it's not really helpful. Beowulf dragon figure, not a lot of not a lot of hope there but again thanks to ebay and thanks to them allowing us to use terrapeak for free you can go and have a look at what these figures have been selling for and you can feel better about the pickup because you can see that a sealed sealed ones have sold from 20 to 30 to all the way up to 40 pounds so you can see someone actually achieved 40 pounds and five pence um in may of this year if i click on it um, it's actually 45 euros, there you go, someone in Italy, by the looks of it, I think, um, has sold this for 45 euros plus 18 euros shipping, so I have, I think that's pretty fantastic, so bearing in mind I paid £15 for all of the figures, um, I'm going to make some good profit, and this guy is the... Um, the icing on the cake as it were so 45 euros i could i i'm going to be aiming for around the 40 plus 40 odd pound mark for this guy and you can just tell by looking at him he's a very very nice figure very cool um figure so anyone that's a uh, a fan of the movie anyone that's a fan of mcfarlane toys or action figures in general is going to like that so for 15 pounds that's definitely the money shot as it were for want of a better term i probably shouldn't use the term money shot actually um so um yeah I'm, I'm pretty pleased that that has happened so um greetings from the subtropical land of scotland says the old haggis hunter is roasting today sells so often for a dreamer in scotland and tk says yes terapeak is great um terapeak don't recognize my typos yeah i use the barcodes on these particular ones but yes you do have to be pretty accurate um when you're using uh when you're using those so i would definitely suggest um using terapeak when ebay search doesn't help you out it you, you you're getting it as part of your um shop subscription fee so you're paying for it and may as well use it so that's a really nice one so 15 pounds on those figures and i'll make some good money on on the um on the dragon there um so i'm you know really um yeah just really happy with that overall as an overall pickup um moving on guys um we're down to the last couple pickups um I was walking past a stall 
and the gentleman had these for sale and I've, I've shared these many times in the past, um, not recently because I've not really done many carpet videos recently, but if you look back on the channel, I'm sure you'll find me talking about wrestling belts, wrestling toys. I, I absolutely love picking them up. I'm just a wrestling geek and yes. Um, I asked how much these were and they were only 50 pence each. So I was, uh, yeah, 50 pence each and they're in very good condition. Bearing in mind, because these are children's toys, they get a, a quite a battering. Um, they, they're often quite grubby, dirty. Sometimes the kids scratch their names onto the belt. Sometimes they will write all over it, what, whatnot. But these are both in excellent, excellent condition. They're both from 2010. So you've got a WWE Heavyweight Championship belt here and you've got the Spinner belt. Um, it's called the Spinner because it spins. There you go. Um, so that's another belt there. And 50 pence each. And depending on um, how long I'm willing to wait, you can see the prices do vary. But this guy got £20 for his. Someone else got £8 plus £4 shipping, £10 plus £3 shipping, £15 plus £3 shipping. Um, but I think £20 is achievable. Um, that's all on the 4th of July. So only 10 days ago, someone paid £20 with free shipping. So from £50, um, that's pretty good. Um, worth looking out for even if you have to pay a pound or two pounds if you're gonna sell it for 20 that's not bad so they're made by Mattel um, also it would be worth finding the older ones which have got, probably got WWF on them these this is like WWE after the name change um, so that's one of them and the the second belt so this is the heavyweight belt which is more plain so you'd think because it's more plain um, you know, it doesn't have any kind of spinner spinner gadgets running on it. You'd think that maybe it wouldn't be worth quite as much, um, but actually, it's you can actually get the same money for it. So you can see twenty pounds, twenty pounds there. This guy got twenty pounds film taking a photograph on his carpet, um, which is fantastic. So you can see that you know it's it's yeah, look, it's, he, he did a good job to be honest. No knocking him. Um, so £20 I should be able to get for that as well. So I'm always going to be picking up wrestling belts um, when I can. Um, so yeah. Um, Suzanne says Terapeak is a massive advantage. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is something that I would recommend using to anybody. Uh, it's well worth it. So yeah, that, that's that one. Um, now we're moving on to my final pickup, um, which is also probably the best pickup of the day. Um, and it, in a weird way, it's, it's actually, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you what it is. Um, okay. This guy that had a box like this sat, um, on the stall, um, and I spotted that poking out of the top of it. Who'd have thought? an RC car, radio control car, um, and not just one, two, and, and they're actually, these are actually, I've got shells, um, this is an absolute steal, um, I paid £30 for this box of uh, cars, and more importantly, spares, so I've got two cars, they're only small, they're only dinky, they're 1 18th scale radio control cars, B buggies they are, um, and so they're pretty cool, nice little, nice little things. Um, now, what really was amazing, I mean, £30 just for those two would have been worth it, I mean, that's fully um, kitted out, that's got everything in it. Um, how did you hide your excitement and keep your poker face? I, I just, well, I just asked, he asked for 30, and I was just like, I did actually make a cheeky offer of 20, um, <laughs> and then I felt someone behind me, and he was like, no, 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 and and uh, I took that as like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay 30, I was, I was like, you have to try, it was very cheeky of me, really, um, to offer 30, uh, to offer 20, um, but you know, you have to, you have to ask, if you don't ask, you don't get, um, but yeah, just for those two for 30 would have been a good deal. 
Um, but I'll show you what else I got. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of explain to you guys. I, you know, I talk a lot about this stuff. Um, but you, it is worth knowing. Um, it's worth knowing when you come across something half decent and something that's a toy. So you'll be able to tell on this car here this guy has put some time and money into his car because you have got firstly you can tell you've got aluminium shocks there you've got aluminium shock tower um, an aluminium brace the prop shaft is aluminium as well it's a four-wheel drive car you can tell that because you've got if, if you move the front tires um, you can see one of them is moving forward, one of them is moving in the other direction. So that shows you that the front differential is working. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive car. And again, if you do it with the back, move one tire forward, the other moves in the opposite direction. Rear differential is working. So it's working absolutely fine. So this I could sell as a rolling chassis, and that's probably what I will do because it's got no electronics in it. So you, normally there's a steering servo, there's a motor, there's a speed controller. Um, and all that jazz, but I could just sell this um, as a rolling chassis and um, There we go and Just it's only a little 1 18th scale car, but you know, and then There's this one here as well, which is kind of Got all the electronics and bits and pieces in it. This guy has spent money on his parts He has not messed around um, He has bought parts. So I've got two cars um, and this is where it gets really crazy. Um, lots of spare tires. These aren't worth a great deal because they're used, but they will still sell in a set because they're slick tires. Um, they will sell. But the real value, the real value in all this, and this is crazy. This is crazy. I got all of these um, new in packet parts. Um, now some of them are only going to be worth like three pounds, four pounds, or whatever, right? But they're all going to go as large letter. But there are a couple of gems in here. He has got three of these parts. These are what are called CVD drive shafts. Three of these, and these sell for about twenty pounds a packet. So these three packets alone will sell for sixty pounds, um, which is insane um, then you've got actual ready-built shocks that those are worth at least a tenner as well so I've got I think a couple of those yeah there's another one there so that's like 20 so just these parts here so if you call those tenner each um, and and then these are 20 pounds each so that's 60 there's 80 pounds in just those parts there so to find that but that to get all of this like I mean there's there's absolutely tons here. Um, it's not going to be fast selling. It's radio control car parts. So obviously, you have to list them and you have to wait for someone who needs them to buy them. But there will be people out there wanting to upgrade their car, wanting to fix their car. So you've got little shock towers there as well, aluminium shock tower. You've got bearings. You've got spur gears. You've got hubs. You've got A-arms. Um, the works. Um, I couldn't believe it 30 quid for the whole lot all those parts and two cars as well both of which are what you call hopped up they've both been upgraded they've both got hop ups aluminium hop ups um, so you know really pleased I mean that 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 is exactly how I would sell that I would just sell that as a rolling chassis it's an 18th scale. These things will be little pocket rockets, really. They really are going to be very quick um, with the right electronics. Um, but for £30, it is a bundle and a half. I mean, I've, I've got all, yeah, just, just loads of it, loads of it here. So very, very happy. Um, and Ryan has popped into the chat as well. Um, Pork Chop says, love picking up action figures easy to ship and the right ones always have a good margin very true very true um and what else have we had um rc porn going to fourth boot surely said two cakes um and ryan has popped in and says how fitting you know ymcmb <laughs> stay away from the rc um yeah you've not missed anything cares 18 just me sharing some parts that i've picked up um 
it did come with a controller, um, NASCAR man. It did um, just the one, just the one, and it's the older um, FM controller with the crystals. So it's not a 2.4 gigahertz controller, but still, you know, it will function. It works fine. Um, loads of spare wheels. Um, a third body shell. I mean, the body shell. I mean, even that I could sell, to be honest with you, because someone will want a body shell for their car. So for 30 quid, can't go wrong. Um, and I mean, like I said, the parts alone. I mean, th these parts, I mean, just actually I could, I should really just do a quick show and tell, I suppose, of, of what I should get for these. So what are these? If you bear with me, I'm gonna quickly show you and then we'll call it a day. Um, mm -mm -mm. I thought I had this up, but I didn't. So, so let me just show you. You can see currently there's only one seller of, of this part. Now I've got three of these, $21.99 plus shipping they're asking. Um, they have actually sold one, you can see there. Um, and they do sell, again, you can look on Terrapeak and check them out and they will sell over the year. They're not going to be fast, like I said, but I've got three of them. I'm just going to list them, forget them. It, it, I can't go wrong really for 30 quid. Um, absolutely stoked with that pickup. Um, right. Um, what else? A lot of my nan, nan was just telling me it was supposed to be sunny today. If you just ask, he says, cares. Um, what was the total spend? Ooh, not much. Um, 30 on the RC, 15 on the figures, that's 45. Three on the dictaphone, that's 48. Um, three on the, what else did I buy? The, the Horrid Henry figure was like 50p. 48 pound 50, I think. Under 50 pounds, the whole, yeah, the whole day, under 50 pounds. Oh, the belts were a pound, so yeah, 50 quid. 50 quid all in, which is amazing. Um, so it's it's brilliant. Um, can we get some back cap action? No, you can't, it, it's just gonna be a mess. But yeah, I bought this as well, you know, YMCMB. Uh -oh, I had to buy it, when I saw it, I had to buy it. Anyway guys, thank you for joining me. Do appreciate uh, you popping into the stream. I hope you found the uh, video enjoyable. Um, and I, you know, hope you found some of the items interesting. I've obviously got some listing ahead of me. I'm not going to do any today, but it'll be in tomorrow. So yeah, I do appreciate you guys popping in and sharing the haul video with me because I've not done one for a while. But I'm hoping to do more as we go forward. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.